Okay, so we got this like that. Uh, return clothes. Okay. Yeah, throughout the game, you'll find areas where you can uh, actually change his clothes as well. Okay, I really want to get rid of this thing here so I can get that out of my inventory. And you know what? I do have juice. Never mind. Never you mind, sir. Where are we off to right now? Right now, we are going to... Let's see here. I think we'll go to the hotel. Yes, we'll go to the hotel. Because another achievement here is unlocking all the locked doors in the town. And there's four of them total. So, now that we're done with that, you'll hear kind of some gun sounds. And you'll see this guy waving to you on top of the roof over there in the distance. So, we're going to jump through the zombies and head over here into the little alleyway. You should jump through this crowd. Aww. Okay, I will jump through him. How about that? <laughs> Alright, so just uh, jump up and all you have to do is just uh, press A. Oh, can't go over there. have to go here. And there we go. We'll talk to him. And it's... Bob Blackrock. Well, I like Bob now. Yep. He's just like shooting zombies on top of the roof. <laughs> exactly. Oh well. Where was he like ten minutes ago when we were just like getting the motorcycle? He was just like not chilling up there, taking a nap underneath his umbrella. Uh, um, probably. I guess so. I guess so. So what we're going to do is, uh, as you explore Steel Creek, you will uncover missions. Each mission has a time limit. You can track the time limits on the mission queue with the HUD or the watch screen. Messages will lead you to survivors of the zombie outbreak scattered around Steel Creek. So, uh, like, see, and he'll flag us down if he sees anything worthwhile. Like, if there's any uh, survivors he sees, he'll let us know. I feel like, I really feel like he, he and I would be, like, just blown out, like, He's shooting zombies, I'd be shooting zombies up here. Right. Just have a little zombie shooting fest. Yep. And you know what, I'm not going to make the pylon because I've already, or the, uh, I think it's called the air horn. I'm not going to make that because I've already made it before, so I won't get the achievement. But, you know, like I showed you people, the spray can was on the roof of the uh, gas station that I did at the very beginning. If you go all the way over there to the end, you'll get that cone or a pylon. Mix that with the spray can and uh, you'll get the, or another combo weapon, which... What that does is you blow it in front of a zombie's face and it'll make their head explode. Hmm. But it's kind of a useless weapon. It's just like real life. Yes. We should have more beer. Yeah, so what we're going to do, actually we're not going to drink the beer just yet. Whoa. We're going to grab the beer. Whoa. I know, right? It's like, why? We're going to grab the beer, go over here, and we have to go up this way because the stairs are actually broken down there. You cannot, you cannot climb up. So we have to jump over, jump across, go through here. There's usually always three or four zombies in the hotel. Ah. Here we go. I think there's like one in there. Hello. Is there one in here? Oh, just the newspaper. What does the newspaper make? Uh, the remember with the... Molotov? Yeah, Molotov with a whiskey bottle. So we're going to go all the way over here. I think there's a cop zombie in here. Yep. And you kill him, grab his handgun if you want, but we don't really have the space for it. And you need the shed key. That is the main thing we uh, are getting here. Now, okay, you what see if the... you just pick it up? Don't you have three slots? You just, like, fire it off quick? Uh, uh, no, the handgun, you have, like, what, six, twelve bullets, something like that? Yeah. But, see, I can't pick it up because we had to pick up one other thing. That's a necessity. Now you'll see these three windows up here. What you want to do is climb on top of it. And you'll get up to this roof. And, uh, no, we don't need the plant. Uh, you'll come down to here, cross this. Now, where I'm, what I'm going to get is this item right here. The hard hat, or the construction hat. This is the only one in the game. And it you mix this with the beer bottle. And that makes one of the uh, better combination. It's not really a weapon. It's more of the, your health refill. So it's really good in terms of you can refill your health at any time. But at the same time, it's bad because get drunk. you get drunk. And if you get drunk enough, you'll start running. And then he'll stop, throw up. And that'll happen for a while, every now and then. Sweet. So is it like the GTA 4 wobble can? Not or? as bad. Get that money. Thankfully. Get that money. Ah. 
money. Aw, only $300. Oh well. Now, here we are in the weapon shop. So, we got the shed key. So, we, And this door, you could not get into it from uh, the other side because it was locked. But we can unlock it from this side. So, there is door one of four that is locked. And, oh, look, bow and arrow. Sweet. Um, now, the broadsword, keep this one in mind for later on because you will be needing it. And as you can see, well, you can hit this thing if he'll, you know, whatever, I don't care. Uh, you can get an assault rifle or... That just sounds so much more appealing than a bat. It does, but at the same time, as you know in zombie outbreaks, it's best to have a melee weapon because you can't run out of those. You know what I mean? Like, with this, you just have your bullets. Now, you see the shotgun has a blue wrench. This makes one of the best mixed weapons in the game. Uh, you mix this with the pitchfork. Sweet. Yes, it is awesome. But I will get that later on as well. Possibly. Maybe. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> Just give up on guns entirely. Sounds terrible. Right. Well, I don't know. I kind of want to... Maybe yes. I should get this You one. want to. You want to. You need that oh, Okay, shotgun. you know what? Fine. I'll drink this. Nice. And I will grab the shotgun. But I will not use it yet. Because I will mix it, mix, it, mix it with the pitchfork. Oh, and here is a moose head as well. A free one, so you don't have to buy it. Just let you all know. Do you want to demonstrate it? Or you don't have room? Do not have room. He needs to actually gain a level so I can get something here. Because we're still at level 1. Oh, which reminds me, in this game, you, you can only go up to level 5. Uh, but if you have the actual Dead Rising 2 game, like the actual full game, uh, if you get up to level 5 in here, uh, it will carry on to your main game as well. Or, up to, yeah, up to level 5 in here, it will carry on. So, I'm going to run over here real quick and uh, kind of get away from people. Uh, what we're going to do next is... Ah! <laughs> not get caught by him. Uh, we're going to actually run over here. And we're going to save a couple more survivors. God, there's really useful. Yes. A survivor ever. Yes. It's like actually killing zombies while everybody else is just like held up inside. Right. Now, as you can see, there's, you, you'll see the name Gemini in the distance. And, uh, if I get close enough. Hold on a moment. Fausto. So what we're going to do is open this. And not what I wanted to do. No! 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 Oh well. You know what? That's fine. Where is my spike back? Uh, hold on. I'm kind of in a little rut right here. Excuse me. And I guess they're dead. Okay, sure. Throw. What is what is the guitar for? The guitar? Yeah. Uh, Can you use that? You can use the acoustic guitar, but once again, I do not have room, unfortunately. Like I, I threw my beer bottle down, but good thing, uh, you know, there's beer right there. So there's beer everywhere. There's beer everywhere in the zombie apocalypse. Right. <laughs> uh, that's what you need: beer and a melee weapon. So what you want to do is uh, talk to Jim and I. Uh, so they were caught up in a roadblock, and they have all their uh, Vegas winnings with them. But he said that he'll save them. But she, and she, I think she said she'll like give them like half of the winnings or something like that. But they didn't even break that cash register. Right. Well, they're good people. They're good people with suitcases full of money. Exactly. From Vegas, because they have Vegas winnings. And Fausto's just a drunk. So, as you see, there are survivors of the outbreak scattered throughout Steel Creek. Escort anyone you find back to the gas station, though some might not come with you willingly. Press Y to call a survivor to you. Hold the left trigger and press Y to send them to a specific location. Upon rescuing survivors, you will receive a large amount of p prestige points bonus. So much PP. So much PP, huh? Yes. So, uh, all you have to do is talk to Jim and I a couple times. Fausto is a little more difficult to uh, persuade. He wants more beer. I think he should just smack him. Give him the beer helmet. <laughs> beer helmet? Yeah, that'd be awesome, huh? Uh, what we want to do is give him a beer. He'll be like, yay, thank you, pal. He really can't see there's beer. There's like three 
And there's like some Jameson in the corner. There's like I know. There's a whole rack, but he's like exactly. He has. Man, he's at the how bar. Are you but expected to like escort him if he can't even like.